Okay. Hmm, my mistake. Alright, um, let's hold her down and see what she does. Okay, that's our secret. Are I'm sorry? Do you find this one on top of the sibling arguments? Much? No, the two bigger ones on on this one and the blue collar. Right, she, uh, her and the other smaller one, the small, the blue one, uh, the bigger two actually will be on top of those two at various times. Right, so dark pink gets a three on dominance. Do Sorry about that. Do you like that? Sorry about that, sweetie. It's all over. Two. Two. She chose the smallest hole. Four. Okay, this one's going to be an escape artist, which means clever. Don't worry, their, their bones are rubbery right now. She can't hurt us. <laughs> the box will rip before a bone. The box may rip. Gwen is uh, attempting to assist the puppy to see the plane way right here, but the puppy found a way and is not interested in looking for another way. There we go. place in the world for her. Practically sleep in her crate with her the first couple of nights. Put the crate right on the bed or right next to the bed with your hand in there. Lots of love and affection. Every time she goes into a crate, she would need a lot of affection coming out of the crate and no affection. Um, just, just, take her out to go potty. just take her out to go potty when you take her out of the crate. And then she... No, no. I mean, all dogs should get lots of praise, but... Um, a dog like this is not going to be happy in the crate unless you do it right. Okay. She's going to be beautiful, though. Well, they all are. This is dark pink. Yes, and I'll go and independently have the dog. Okay. Um, we didn't do independent with her. One's assistance is worth our weight in gold over here. Both of them, by the way. <laughs> So we're doing uh, the human test here, the puppy being inclined to Gwen or to the toy.
Takima, Takima, Takima. Hey, oh, no, Nala, 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 Nala. Come, 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 out, out. All right, a little break in the action. Had to let one of the dogs out. Following George only because she knows George and likes him. So, yeah. all right. Yeah. So, she's a ESK artist. Yes, okay, Bart, so mm -hmm. All right. I'll that was kind of. Let's see. Yeah. yeah, we actually did. That was. I was hoping. That was two tests of one. I was hoping she'd run off with the toy, take it for herself. So we'll just watch it for a second here. So even though she got her head stuck in there six times, she's not worried about it at all. That's she a conservative is. estimate there. <laughs> <laughs> she definitely prefers humans. So she's, yeah, she's on Amber's sandal like a little guy. <laughs> No, no, no. The opposite. On the way in. On the way in. Gotcha. Yeah. You want your dog to like, pr like the crate. Don't praise him coming out. Praise him going in. Gotcha. That makes more sense. <laughs> in fact, no praise coming out. Just take them out to go potty. They all have to pee by the time they come out of their crate. And then praise right. them for going to the bathroom outside. Yeah. I like the looks a lot. Oh, my God. Okay. So, are we done with her? Yeah. Outgoing. Outgoing. She's, she's a medium. She's like a She'd go either way. And did you think she was more or less dominant oriented than the last one, the blue one? Because you gave her three. Dominant. More dominant oriented. More dominant. Or well, less she than. She had a three. And the, blue got two. Yeah. and the blue got two and a half. So she's a little more dominant than the blue. Okay. A little bit more, just not a lot. Okay. Uh, let's take red here. Okay. All right, now red. Red is going to have a little bit different of a look. Red is, um, doesn't have the plush coat. She's going to be more comfortable in hot weather. I will say that. But shepherds can go cold or hot. That's one of the beautiful things about <laughs> Um She's going to be a tall puppy and very long. She's going to be very long. Okay. Ivy. Okay, so we're, we're, we, we only did first. scent. We only did scent. Mm -hmm. We only just sat, we better wake up. <laughs> the, the box usually wakes him up. So let's get her in the box. I'll do the box test here on this red one. She was literally sleeping. Let's we'll see what she does. She could fall asleep in here, but, but they rarely do. <laughs> if she falls asleep in here, she's super independent. <laughs> So, she startles easy though. Yeah, this is red. So that the puppy is not trying to get out, Gwen is assessing that to Just give her a be uh, a sign of independence. She startles easy.
there's actually a clear way out of here. But a puppy at seven weeks wouldn't really identify that as being able to move it. So we move it for them. This puppy's getting a two on the box test. Okay. She was like an awesome pet. She's not going to try to get out of the crate. She's not. She's not going to try to get out of the crate. No. No. But, you know, she's not the most clever puppy in the group either. <laughs> All right. And I'm independent. She gets a five. She did get a five. All right, we're going to check her for outgoing and dominance. Let's go with dominance now. Now, we'll do the dominance test here on this puppy. When we do the dominance testing on this one, all of the tests, I'm looking, every test, I look for dominance. We're going to find, I, we're going to find dominance in every test that I do. But this one is a very clear, um, clear look. She's, she's absolutely, they're absolutely supposed to struggle. Absolutely. It's what they do when they realize they can't get out is what we're looking for. You're saying she's absolutely what one? I'm saying they're absolutely supposed to struggle. Okay. Absolutely. If they don't, well, I don't know. <laughs> it's what they do after they're held down for a minute. So Gwen is saying that initially that you want them to struggle and then after a a little period, a minute even. What do you look for then, Gwen? How hard they struggle and what they, what they attempt to get away with. If she starts biting me, if she starts biting herself, if she bites herself, that's a failure. I've never seen one of your pups before. If she bites me, that's acceptable. So Gwen is saying if the puppy bites her, that's oh, acceptable. I like that. She's kissing. <laughs> I like it. She, she's, she's kissing one. She's attempting to use love to get me to let her out. And I'm going to let that work. That's what she did to her mother. That's exactly what she did to say, hey, mom, you're laying on me. If she, yeah. bit, if she would have bit her mom, her mom would have bit her back a little bit. Yeah. But she, she licked me to say, well, if you're going to hold me down, will this work? We like that. Yeah, we like that. You, you want to know something? She, her and one other puppy is the only one the mom will still let nurse. She will not let the other puppies nurse her. She, that puppy she will, and the, the light pink one. And the light pink one? Yeah. Um, and Very that, interesting. That means that, um, that's, if you know what calling means, that's the opposite of calling. So she's chosen her most likely to survive a long life. They will continue to nurse that puppy and keep that puppy close to them. That's her chosen puppy. And they will always choose their healthiest puppy. They know they know better than your veterinarian what's going on. Yeah. Okay, good, so. Is it better than a uh, fortune cookie? Much better. <laughs> All right, good. Most dominant would be, um, dominant, not so dominant, a little bit. And the three, let's go to three. But uh, let's give her an extra note. Um, mom's first pick. Usually mom's first pick is pick of the litter, by the way. Just yeah. so you know, that's she can, the best breeder can look and look and look at puppies and but the mother knows. In fact, what I do with some litters is I'll take all the puppies, I'll put them in my driveway at 12 days old, let mom out. That puppy she picks to take up to her uh, whelping box, the first puppy she picks is her first litter. It's usually the biggest male. Her second pick is usually her biggest female. Is she your biggest female? She's very close. I think the light pink one's a little okay. half a pound, maybe a pound heavier. So are we missing and the, light, the light pink one is the one that's already gone. Oh, okay. Karen is, um, gotcha. Ooh, yeah, red, red. Yeah, human is a five. Okay. Um, she's going to be a five. I'll go and give her a three. Okay. All right, so far it's between blue and red. Just remember, blue and red. Red, red, red Alright, so where are we at now? Are we up there? Let's 
one. Process of elimination here. All right. Okay, Michelle, this one's a real light puppy, um, meaning she's going to be a very agile. She's going to be very agile and lightweight. She's not going to be a great big dog, and she's not going to be a real heavy dog. And what um, color is this one again? This is going to be a black and red too. She's um, she's going to have a full red head. When you go back with the, the black or the dark black color. Black this is this is okay. black color. I'm sorry, you yeah. said what color? I'm sorry. Yeah, oh, she's, no gonna, Thank she's you. gonna get light. She's gonna get nice and light. Uh, she's gonna be a, a black and red uh, saddle. They yeah. all are, but she's gonna be a full saddle, meaning she's gonna have a nice red head. Some people really right. like that. Okay. Her mother. Look at her mother again. So she's gonna be marked like her mother. The, the stripe yeah. along the back, she's probably going to have one of those, too. Yeah. And then, remember, Queenie here doesn't look her best right now. She just delivered, uh, what, eight puppies? Nine? Nine. Yeah, she's been nursing nine puppies for the last several weeks, so she's not looking her absolute most beautiful. Actually, she, she delivered nine, Michelle. We lost one, so uh, yeah. Gwen is uh, close. She's been nursing eight, but, yeah, the point is she's... Uh, uh, she's been uh, a busy mom there. But I will say for Queenie, she's as energetic even the day she delivers as any of my puppies. Not hyper, just very, she's very athletic. Here we're with the temperament testing, uh, dominant testing rather. Puppy's just resigned to be held down there. <laughs> so she's not chewing on my hand to get up. She's chilling on my hand because it's there. So, um, she could really care less too much. So as soon as she thought she could get out of it, I brought her back around. So she'll just conform to anything. She's, she's not going to push your other puppies around, the other puppies around either. This is black. She's probably, she's gonna probably go to about 70 pounds. I like, I like her too. Um, she's gonna be a beautiful dog to watch grow up. And they all are. And she's gonna have that nice plush coat too, I think. Her ears are already up, but don't be surprised. They, they often fall back down for a week or two. What's your point? Um, she's going to get a one. All right, so we did down, but we have to do box. There we go. Little black collar is trying to get out the little hole. And she pulled her head right back in, presumably realizing she can't get out there. Now she's trying to dig a hole. Not going to be an escape artist. She's going to be easy to crate train. Gwen is saying that this puppy will be easy to crate train since it's not... <clears throat> going to be what she's calling an escape artist. Yeah, she's, you know, she's got a small face. She can get her face through any of those holes. See how she goes through and looks around and doesn't struggle? Easy. Easy to crack her. Oh, she got a leg out.
Sorry for the camera. Only goes to the Moving around here. Only goes to the obvious choice. Um, easy to train. Very easy to train. So you have human independent 